Okay. Uh, so basically, um, now I, I just uh, uh, show you the deploy of our, our instance that contains uh, asterisk. Um, I want to show you this uh, for first uh, as first things because uh, I mean it takes a couple of minutes, and to, in order to save time, uh, it will uh, uh, deploy during uh, the presentation. So I just uh, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> It kicked me out. Just a second. Um, so I just um, deploy it now as a asterisk. Okay. And in the meanwhile, <coughs> my colleagues will present uh, you to you. Uh, the first one is uh, Onur. So I leave the floor to him. Okay. Let me find him here. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes, very well. I'm giving you the screen. Okay. Please. I think you should be able to see my screen right now. Yes. Okay, good. So, hello everyone. We are Asterix Unibot team. I am Onur. My colleague Gianni and I will make the presentation and Jordan, Luca and Mattia will uh, demonstrate the de de demonstration. We'll make the demonstration. Uh, we are a group of students who participate in networking course includes the topics uh, such as SDN and NFP and the development and the implementation of the service with OSM Mono is the final part of our study. Our network function is to provide VoIP service by using Asterix server. So firstly, I would like to mention about Asterix briefly. Well, Asterix is an open source project which aims to provide a platform for communication applications. It does not only power IPPBX, but also other types of applications such as voice mail servers or call center systems. Uh, we use Asterix with SIP protocol, which allows us to operate real-time session for voice communication. There will be VoIP URIs that assign to the users to let them access the system. So this is our timeline. These are the operations that we managed during the schedule as all team did. Basically for day zero, we have implemented descriptions of VNF and NS, and also we implemented image instantiation. For day, and day one and day two, we managed to start up Asterix and actions for our system. In day zero, we prepared VNFT includes two VDUs for management and service and two connections points for each VDU. Uh, VNFT also includes native charms in the execution environment list. Then we implemented network connectivity with NS descriptor. The other workload of day zero was to run tests on the image where Asterix is installed and configured. And after that, we took the snapshot of this instance because that is up deployment, so we can execute during the demo. And at the end, we instantiate VNF and NS. So after that, I will leave the floor, my colleague Gianni. Thank you for everyone. Danny? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay. Okay, I found you. There you go. Okay, let me know if you can see my screen. Yes, perfect. Okay, so uh, Onur uh, went uh, up to day zero operations. Uh, next up for day one, we have to perform uh, the startup of the asterisk service. And uh, before that, uh, we need to set uh, some initial call configuration. So we have uh, a Juju based uh, native charm that does this for uh, day one action. And then uh, for day two operations, we have the options to add and remove users. And uh, these operations can be uh, initiated from uh, a system administrator 
like for example using the OSM UI. And uh, right here we have uh, a diagram of uh, the add user uh, action, which uh, uh, is uh, divided in three steps. The first step consists uh, in editing uh, pjship.conf uh, to add the user. The second is to set up uh, the call configuration for the user in the extensions.conf file of asterisk. And then we need to reload the asterisk configuration to apply the changes. And uh, next up, we have the remove user action, which is uh, uh, like add user, but in reverse. So we remove uh, all the user information from uh, the two configuration files, and then uh, we trigger the reload of the asterisk configuration. And next up is a very quick uh, uh, schema about uh, uh, what happens when two soft phones uh, call uh, one each other. So in this example, uh, uh, test one and test two are both signed up to asterisk to our server. And uh, test one, because uh, I just noticed there's a, a bit of a typo in the, uh, in the slides. Uh, it's test one and test two, and not uh, when you were one and we were two. Anyway, uh, test one calls uh, test two, and uh, the first part uh, is uh, uh, done uh, using the SAP protocol uh, uh, through the server. So uh, once uh, the connection has been established uh, in our configuration, all of the uh, talking goes uh, with RTP through the server because uh, um, uh, since we have a VPN, we were kind of forced to do that. Anyway, the default configuration of Asterisk uh, implies to establish, to establish a direct uh, communication between uh, the two soft phones via RTP after the SAP, um, after the SAP part. So that is also possible and is the default configuration. And uh, if uh, for some reason uh, uh, someone calls a user that does not exist, uh, the server responds uh, with an error message saying uh, just that. And also if uh, uh, someone calls a user that uh, uh, does not respond after a set amount of time, which by default is 20 seconds in our system, uh, the server will also reply with an error message. And uh, next up for further development or uh, things uh, we would have liked to do if we had more time. There's uh, uh, some kind of voicemail and also we could do uh, multiple servers and uh, load balancing uh, of the traffic among them. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for the attention. And now I uh, follow the demo of the system by Mattia and uh, Jordan. Okay, so I'll give back the screen to Mattia. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone again. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, the um, instance has completed the deployment. And uh, now um, I will uh, show you a demo of the system um, that consists in using uh, this soft, soft phone client uh, called the Zypher. And I will call my colleague uh, Jordan. I'm not sure you will uh, be able to hear him, but uh, I think yes, because I shared also the audio of my PC. So uh, I'm using test one uh, um, account and he is uh, test two. Hi, Jordan. Hi. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Everyone can hear you hear Jordan? <laughs> A little bit far away, hear. but we can. Oh, okay. But, okay, okay, nice. Okay, see you later, Jordan, then. <laughs> it was a pleasure. See you later. See you later. Bye. Okay. Um, other features that we implemented are the, are the um, secretariat uh, uh, call that um, uh, is, an, uh, is enabled when uh, uh, 20 seconds uh, uh, pass and no one answers. And also, uh, if you try to call uh, a user that uh, doesn't doesn't exist, um, there is a mess. Okay, I I hear it. Uh, let's say that my uh, call can't be completed because the user doesn't exist, basically. And uh, mm, okay, I forgot it, but uh, I wanted also, so I will call again Jordan. <laughs> 
I forgot it, but uh, I want to show you also the uh, RTP traffic that pass uh, uh, in the ma machine uh, during the call. So I will call him again as a proof. Okay, let's see if uh, he's online. Hi, Jordan, again, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry to bother you. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, this is the RTP traffic, as, as you can see that uh, flow between uh, uh, the two endpoints. Okay, bye bye, Jordan. Sorry. Um, uh, what to say again? Um, we implemented also some uh, day two operations, right? Uh, that are basically okay. Sorry. Okay, that are basically um, the um, uh, adding and removal of a, a user. Um, I will show you um, how to add a user right now. Okay, so it has two properties. That uh, is the username and the password. If I add the test tree and uh, uh, pass tree, let's say, okay, and I execute that, and then I go to the asterisk machine, uh, you will see that the extension.com file now has the, um, the user that uh, I just added. And also the second day two action is basically the removal of a user that I will perform right now. So in this case, only the user username is needed. That is test three. Okay. Yes, exactly. It is being removed by the configuration file of Asterix. And you can see here the operation uh, was success successful. Um, I want also to tell you that uh, we did some uh, tests. Uh, we uh, used the operational framework and uh, harness uh, to validate the correct uh, behavior of the actions that uh, I just uh, uh, showed to you. Um, our um, This is the first approach that we uh, have with uh, Juju. But uh, uh, as IT engineering students, we know that the uh, CICD pipeline is, uh, I mean, it's very important to deliver, uh, deploy, uh, and deploy a working uh, system, a consistent system and a consistent software. And uh, um, we think that uh, uh, maybe a few uh, um, investigation should be made to those uh, tests. But uh, I think that uh, the way we made the system is pretty much uh, uh, um, make it, makes it pretty much, uh, I don't know, uh, extensible. So uh, this is uh, everything uh, I have to say, I have to say. So I leave the floor to my colleagues or questions if uh, there are any.